guys, Spectre here, and welcome to the final part of Raven's Nest, um, speed build thing, thingamalinga. Uh, yeah, it's, this is actually a really, really short speed build because I was just finishing up the furnishing. The reason why the others got cut off so abruptly was because my butt started hurting. So yeah, we're just figuring how to light up the split the space right now. We're using these fancy chandeliers. Uh, I yeah, these modern ones just didn't go, and I was trying so hard to make it look nice. So I can't quite remember what we did, but yeah, this was way too much. I remember just getting rid of all of that. But the original idea was good to go those really fancy ones, but. Like, they were too fancy for this house. I was trying to get it to be a little bit more modern. Um, so we're just adding whatever we can to light the place up. And we get rid of the door and place it with an arch because somehow I realized it looked mm, really, really weird. Yeah, we get we put the arch there and we light up the space. And yeah. I need a cough, but this is a really bad time. I keep using those really old-timey sort of lamps. I don't know what I'm doing in the cheat box right now, but I keep using those really old-timey kind of lamps and... I don't know. It's like, I used it in the bedroom and it just... I didn't want to use it throughout the entire house because it felt like it'll get repetitive. Yeah, I think that's the word. I, I can't talk properly right now, my throat is killing me. Uh, adding the bathroom lights, of course. We just go with the simple ones right now because whatever it takes to light up the space, to be honest. And bathroom lights are never exactly a huge, like, fancy thing. We put, did put the fancy lights in the foyer where people would come in and be like, Wow, you have a fancy chandelier. Why, thank you. That's not really what's going to happen. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go keep moving. Um, yeah, we're going to add some lights in this corridor here so it won't be really dark when people are walking around. I have a feeling I'm going to be sending the kids over here when Rosalia and Guiscard start having children. Like, they are going to have a lot of children. I think I may have to move Bertram out. Like, yeah, in the earlier episode I said I'll get rid of that door and that's what we're doing right now. Get these huge French, uh, French windows, French whatever it's called. Uh, getting a nice outdoor area. Trying to make it look nice. Um, stairs because your Sims can't move without stairs, even though it's so low. Uh, and we just yeah, we're just adding this outdoor area. This nice little, nice little table. Uh, we turn it black, of course, to fit with the rest of the house. I need to learn to work with colors. This is just so bad. <laughs> this is just a really black, like, black house. Uh, running around, seeing what we can do with the um, decorations. It took me a while to find the decorations, but we got some clutter. Just going through it and trying to find, like, the whatever I could fill space with. Like, if a house is lived in, it's going to get cluttered. Uh, there are two guys living in this house, and that candle at the foot of the bed, it just, don't do that in real life, because you're going to knock it over, and it's just going to be, like, an accident waiting to happen. So there are two, two guys living in this house. I tried to put, like, those things closer together but it didn't work so we just put like bottles of cologne in there because I think Guiscard would give them cologne uh, Alexis one of the guys who will be living here might find it offensive but Raven might not really care so we're putting up these curtains trying to find the right curtains to put up so that they can draw it over themselves when they want a bit of privacy we end up using these fancy ones I'm trying again try and work with color and it just wasn't working out so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna stick to black and white thank you yep uh, moving on just checking through the area adding more curtains to the bedroom red this time because I don't know <laughs> I just wanted different colors 
We're adding more paintings to fill up the wall space because I thought it would be nice. And I think we added light to it because I thought it looked a little bit dark in that corner. So adding a light like you would in a gallery just so it illuminates the painting. Well, my throat really hurts. Uh, adding more paintings here, but I think we add- I'm not sure whether we added a poster or a painting. Oh yeah, that. That thing. Uh, we just put it there and we put it like down on the desk so it looks like it's sitting on top of the desk instead of anything else. We add that little architecture thing. Uh, I did do some additions off camera because while I was taking the screenshots, I realized that it didn't look complete. Especially the balcony area that we completely messed out. So yeah, just adding whatever we can to f make it look pretty. This huge wall space, I had to fill it up with something. I just couldn't leave it blank. So we get that big ass painting and just like shove it there. So yeah, we're swiveling around, looking around, trying to make sure everything's done. And now we're gonna do some, some garden work. And... I love the lavenders, like, uh, there was no way I could do the build without the lavenders. Uh, we're just putting some hedges along here as well, making it nice and green. I think I put more attention to, like, the gardening in this house than I did the Crawford Manor. Just shoving in as many as I can. Like, I wanted it to go all the way here. So there would be like a bit of garden space between the pool and the side of the lot. So yeah, we put the hedge up to give them some privacy from their neighbours. We're not going to put any on the other side because I they won't mind if like Rosalia just pops over whenever and vice versa. Adding the tree to make it look nice and shady so, you know, oxygen is good for you. Plus, back at home, it was so hot that the only way you get any comfort whatsoever was sitting under a tree. Uh, adding some nice pavement here so that we can get to the road. That didn't make any sense. Uh, just We're swiveling around again, just checking through everything. And making sure everything is satisfactory. And I think that was the moment when I realized, where is the post box? So we're just trying to find the post boxes here and shove one out there. And looking around in the, in the night light because I thought the lights look really pretty. And we put those fancy things there because they look more like weather, like capable of standing the weather. Finally we put a bin inside because I forgot to put a bin in the last one. And yeah, we're, we're just going round. Yeah, we add another tree on this side as well, just to balance it out, even though it might not work, but trees are good for you. Like, if I l got to choose my own house, I would live in a place with like lots of greenery, even though everything I touch is dies. That is why I'm alone. Yep, doing some little bit of terrain paint, just adding a little spritz underneath there to make it seem like it's been walked on a lot. Uh, and then we're trying to... Just trying to make it look like someone's been walking all over that area so it's really worn out the grass. Yep. I can't remember if I went with this, but let's just pretend I did. I guess I went with it. So again, spinning round. Why do I always do this? Like, I, d I don't know. I need to learn to stop spinning around like this when I'm building. We're adding more lavenders at the back because the back looked really empty compared to the front despite the giant trees there. And we are here in the screenshots. This is the foyer area. I don't like the white ceilings. This is the, the part that I added later on for one of the occupants. Because I have a feeling that Raven would be really really zen. You got up oh, there we go. There's Raven in the derpy kitchen cooking up a storm. Bedroom. Uh, not much to say here. The really weird bathroom right in the front, which is really cramped. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!